But first tonight, crews in Lake Isabella are preparing to blast off on the dam safety project. 17's Karen Hua attended a meeting tonight where residents expressed concerns about something possibly going wrong. She joins us now in the newsroom with more. Karen? The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers from Sacramento broke ground on this project back in April after a study raised seismic and flood concerns with the current dams. Up in the mountains, the water in Lake Isabella is held back by a main dam and an auxiliary dam that keep the cities of Lake Isabella and Bakersfield below from flooding. Now, the state is planning to add a third dam, 28 feet tall, 1,300 feet long. And they'll raise the existing dam by 16 feet. The purpose? To create an emergency spillway with 10 times the capacity. Our worst case probable maximum flood would potentially overtop our dams by about 9 feet. If that were to happen, we could have a catastrophic failure of the dams and send a breach wave downstream to Bakersfield. But the chance of overtopping? One in 4,000. We want our project to do what it was authorized to do, and that's to provide flood damage reduction benefits to um, mostly people downstream, especially the city of Bakersfield. Blasting of the dam is scheduled to begin later this year with a completion date of December 2022, which means side effects from the project will continue for about four years. Drills may be audible, and blasts may create light tremors through the ground. But those will be limited to weekdays and will not occur on holidays. As for road closures, Highway 155 between Ponderosa Road and Pioneer Point will be closed two weekdays a week for half an hour between 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. In response to the community's concerns about school bus traffic. So the afternoon buses may be an issue, but we plan to have our blast roughly about midday, so that shouldn't be an issue either. The project will also clear parts of the lake while blasting, buoying off sections for safe boating and fishing. But Toby Wallace says no wildlife will be affected. The project is federally funded with taxpayer dollars, costing a total of $650 million. Construction alone costs $240 million. There will be another meeting tomorrow from 6 to 7 p.m. at Kernville Community Hall, and the public is welcome to attend and ask their questions. I'm Kieran Hua, 17 News. Karen, thanks.